Weight scrap. Three years apart with similar height and reach. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. And he eats a high one. Just missed with the left there. And he connects there, Joe. Continues to mix it up, coming to the head, mixing in some body shots. Back to the feet now. Guida gets tagged by that kick. That can't feel real good, Joe. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down and largely succeeding. That punch will work right through the guard. Now a level change. Oh, he slams him down, Joe. Nicely done there. Working from the mounted crucifix. He's moved back into side control. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Effective punch there by Lex. Guida gets hit with a kick. That looked like a hurt you. Well, he lands another jab, really employing the jab effectively here. And there he swung with a haymaker. Caught him with a punch. Excellent feint with the kick. Another takedown attempt here. Oh, oh nice oh, slam, Joe. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. And he reverses position. And back up again. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lentz. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he has shown an increased susceptibility to that strike here today. Look at Saint with that punch. There's a nice left hand. Well, Joe, he did not connect there. Oh, oh man. He's got a half guard here. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. He's in half guard. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Green. Beautifully executed sweep. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Second round underway. All right, so here we go with round two. We'll see if these fighters get after it. You saw at the beginning of round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Entertaining round, don't get me wrong, but we will see here in round two if there's an uptick in the aggression on both sides. Guida gets hit by that kick to the body. Excellent head movement. Guida gets caught with that punch. Well, this has been a striking clinic tonight, Joe. Oh! to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage. Oh. Right? Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. We passed the midpoint here in the fight. Transitions to full guard. Wow. Back 
back up to the feet. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the message from the corner. He's got a guillotine. Armin guillotine here. Wraps the leg around the back. He popped out of the guillotine. He's got side control. Excellent movement here on the ground. Back to over under. Under a minute now to go in the round. All right, so there's a swing and a miss from him, and sometimes when you miss, it can tax your. Oh! large volume of strikes, but this last one was the big one that landed for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And here we see that again. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nick Whitmer. Weight fight. More than five years apart. Some different. Weight fight. Right. Well, it's always great to be back in this MMA hotbed as we get underway here at the Juniors Arena in Rio de Janeiro. Lands a big right hand early. Oh, straight right. These are some bombs he is throwing. Body kick, look at that. Lands a punch. Going to the body there with the right kick. Dos Santos gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here. Moving forward. Body kick now by Hook. Dos Santos gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. RDA gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. There's a kick to the body. Hooker gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Dosan Joseph's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. He is really finding a home for those body kicks. Well, he continues to find his timing here. Series of strikes, they all land. Oh! oh. This could be it! Here. This is a very good spot for him, Joe. 
30 seconds now to go in round one. Once again, able to dictate where this fight goes. Nice punch by Hook. Second round underway. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Oh, he missed that kick. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes. Oh! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, he's getting hit. Oh! Wow. He's in big, big trouble. Oh, big nice knee. Oh! He is hurt here. Shoots in for the takedown. Now goes in and secures the takedown. That one hurt. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range. Oh, he hurt him. He hurt him bad. Oh, that's it. That's that is it. Outstanding timing and accuracy for a knockout victory. Yeah, Joe, a pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop in this contest. At two minutes, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Daniel the Hat. Lightweight scrap. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. We go inside the octagon. You ready to fight? Ready. We are underway. All right, round one here, Diego Nightmare Sanchez mean mugging the camera as usual. This is a guy who is very hard to put away, and even late in his UFC career, still exceedingly hard to get out of there, something his opponent is certainly aware of as he takes on this veteran here tonight. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. Joe, how does he approach this particular challenge tonight? One thing to keep an eye out for are the counter strikes of BJ Penn. BJ Penn has excellent counts. Whoa! Whoa! Big shots! Hard straight punch. Nice takedown. See what he can do here in the clinch. Oh, misses with the jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, effective strike there by Penn. Nice one-two there. Oh, how about the output for this fighter here? A lot of good time shots there on the ball landing. Good attack there. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by P.J. Penn. Nice punch there by Sanchez. How about that shin? Sanchez's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, how good is that jab? Snaps it off yet again here. And gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Another shot. All right, he's got him down. Two minutes to go here in round one. Nice jab. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, the prodigy gets caught with that punch. Nice jab. 
Penn's cut on his cheek has just gotten out of control here, Joe. There's so much blood, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them call in the RP and ultimately call an end to this fight. All right, so yet another takedown here. He has taken this fight to the ground, really, every time he has tried to do so. He would tell everybody before the fight, that's my game plan, I don't think he can stop my shot, and largely that's exactly how it's played out here tonight. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Sanchez. Back and forth we go. Back to the jab now, no good. Blocks the strike. Sanchez gets stung by that leg kick. Level change there, goes for the takedown. Round two next. There's the horn, huge knockdown for him. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round two is underway. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's gonna look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Diego Sanchez always comes out aggressive. He's got top flight wrestling. Oh! Another shot, he's in trouble. In half guard position. Penn's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh! Here's a single attempt. Man, another takedown. Score a lot of points with these. Now the opponent is getting up quickly, but no doubt these takedowns are starting to add up. Now he's in full guard. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he can change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's... Oh, he's out. Oh, he's out. He's out. Landed a gigantic kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, as far as highlights go, they don't get much prettier than that. A huge kick to end the night here tonight. He caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and that one was a no-doubter. The fight was over as soon as that foot made contact. All right, let's go inside the octagon now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes of round number two. To play the winner by... is clear and focused. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Johnson is three years his seat. Ready to fight. Ready. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Five rounds if needed for the UFC lightweight championship of the world. Lands a hard kick. Went for the head kick. some adjustments. Well, he's got a strong jab. Missed with it there, though, Joe. That strike will count. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Daryush. Huge shot with the hook. Beautiful technique, and he was forced to tap. Beautiful submission. 
Yeah, Joe, that's about as good as it gets in terms of executing the submission. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and was able to get the tap short. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 2 minutes, 32 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Guido Kimura, and you, UFC lightweight champion of the world, Demetrius Adidas Johnson. Weight scrap. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the aid. You ready to fight? Ready. First round underway. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Matthews gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. The kick is there to the body. Really missed with that right hand. Oh! He's in big, big trouble here. Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Oh, he is getting off some huge punches here. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. And separate. And a good counter left. And he's looking for that left. Hard hook. That one hurt. How about that shin? Matthews gets tagged again. Oh, he got tagged. He got tagged. Oh, he might be out. Oh, he's got him right here. Whoa, these guys are swinging. and got the victory. Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You can tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by submission due to a triangle choke. fight. Pettis is six years his senior. He will have a one in. You ready to fight? You ready? We are underway. 
What a highlight reel the Mexican phenom Yair Rodriguez has put together in a few short fights in the UFC. That flying head kick knockout of Andre Feely comes to mind. He stopped the UFC Hall of Famer PJ Penn in 2017. A lot of people think we are staring at a future champion, Yair Rodriguez, looking to entertain the masses once again tonight. Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here early? Keep an eye out for the counter strikes of Anthony Pettis. He's very good at trying to catch fighters as they close the distance. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Shows him the left and then follows it up with the right. Nice one-two punch there by Rodriguez. stances here. Anthony Pettis with another hard kick to the body. Oh, absolutely, Joe. These body kicks are significant strikes. You're starting to wonder how much more he can take. Effective strike there by Pettis. Rodriguez gets hit by that. Oh! Yeah! Oh! He's out! A huge barrage of strikes. He kept coming and finally landed one big bomb for the knockout. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, Joe, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Here it is from a different angle. All right, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Yeah! El Patera Rodriguez! Not a two. You think you bout it, we bout it too. Only difference is my cloud is